Hello, this video is going to show you how to backup Exchange Server Database with Ezus Todo Backup, which is very professional Exchange Backup software. First, install Ezus Todo Backup Advanced Server or Technician on your computer, because only these two editions support Exchange Backup. Then launch the software and click Data Backup on home page, which includes three modes, File Backup, Disk Partition Backup and Exchange Backup. After the click, you will see three modes, File, Disk Partition and Exchange Server. In the File mode, you can select single files folders on your computer to backup, and in Disk mode, you can select disks or partitions to backup. Here we click Exchange Server. In Exchange Server mode, you will see Storage Groups. Select the Storage Groups to backup. On the bottom of the interface, you will see the horizontal column Destination. Click Destination to modify the image location. By default, the software will locate the most suitable partition to store the image file. When you select the partition to store the image file, you will see a graphical representation of the current disk space, whether it has enough space to store the image or it's insufficient. On the same page, you can tick the option to backup image integrity after backup, then when you need to restore the image, the image will work. If you set backup schedule to backup exchange, the number of image files will increase, and images will spend more and more disk space. Set rule to preserve image file and control the number of images. Besides, you can click turn on to set backup schedules. Then the software can run automatic backup later, daily, weekly, monthly and upon event. After you set the schedule, click OK to put it into effect. Or click do not schedule to cancel all settings. Then click backup options to set compression password for your backups. Other options such as splitting, priority, notification, command, off-site copy, speed and etc. Also click OK to perform the settings. Click Reset to Initial Settings to cancel your settings. Here you can reset current page or reset all pages. After all these settings, click Proceed to perform backup. L -O -L you finish the backup successfully. See? It's quite easy, right? But, here comes another question. What would you do if you want to backup the data again after a period of time? How to only backup the changed files? Here we suggest you to perform incremental backup or differential backup. There is absolutely no need to backup all again. How to do differential backup or incremental backup? Click Management after launching the software. Under the Management, find your Exchange Backup and click Run to choose incremental backup or differential backup.